Hi, I'm Daniel Christofferson, and uh, it's time to talk about an A power chord. So, uh, uh, the way I play uh, just a basic A power chord, as I explained in another video, is just with one finger at the second fret of the D and G string. The low E is muted with the thumb. There's other ways of approaching that for people who have smaller hands. And then the first finger is also muting the B and E string. So let's cover just the basic A power chords. There's one, and then here's uh, an A power chord. Notice this does not sound as open and as resonant as this. Always, when you have a choice between the same notes, go for the longest string length. Okay, because it's just going to sound better, generally speaking. So that sounds better than this, even though it's the exact same notes. Now, if we want to, if we want this chord to contain higher register notes, uh, more fives and ones, which is uh, basically what a power chord is, pinky comes up here, and this chord makes me think of Pete Townsend. Um, used in several of the, the famous Who songs. So let's keep going. Uh, more of a metal type of a, a approach would be an A power chord like this. So my first finger's on the D string and the uh, third finger's on the G string. And I'm alternating between the A string muted and those two notes. And the way you get that sound is by um, making these exclusive to each other. So you're not going to hear this while you hear this. And it's the other way around too. It's one or the other. So I'm lifting up on my fingers slightly to mute as soon as I'm done. stuff that can happen here. So um, right here we're employing an A major chord. And then here's the suspended. And back to a five. So this is the power chord. And then uh, a less common way of approaching an A chord in a power kind of a context is... So I'm using the pinky to mute the D string. And then I'm getting an A triad right here. One thing that's cool about using these triads that are exactly shaped like a D chord is all you have to remember is that this is the note right here, this is the key note, that's the root. So in a D chord, this is a D. If I want to use these three, this form, to create an E chord, I just find where this note becomes an E. Here we go. So if somebody's playing this, maybe in a band that I'm in, I could be going... And uh, we're on the subject of A chords or A power chords, so I go up to here where this finger is an A note. Here's my A, uh, A string. And just like with a D suspended, we can suspend the A. <laughs> And this kind of use of open strings is similar to uh, the Edge U2 kind of thing. So, there are a few thoughts on A power chords and regular A chords in a crunchy kind of a world.